some age One dead president turned the page Till 64 we thought we had it all The new American dream became hard to recall So now I push the button, pull the chain Flipping through the channels and rot my brain An American dream and I'm running away to A time where things would get a little better someday This is Gary Howey's Outdoorsman Adventures, brought to you by Winchester Ammunition. We don't just make ammunition, we use it just like you for hunting and shooting. The Boat Farm, Lamar's and Hinton, Iowa, where we match the perfect boat to your fishing needs. South Dakota's Missouri River Tourism. Come and explore the Missouri River of South Dakota. Northland Fishing Tackle. The fisherman's favorite. Country vet dog food, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Frabel, trusted fishing gear since 1938. Wrangler Pro Gear, it's always hunting season around here. Pheasants Forever, the Habitat Conservation Organization. Offshore Tackle, the leader in trolling technology. Zippel Bay Resort, Set your hook on a great vacation on Minnesota's Lake of the Woods. Grossenberg Implement, your full-service John Deere dealer, serving Northeast Nebraska and South Central South Dakota since 1937. Welcome to another of our Outdoorsman Adventures. On this show, I will be joined by my daughter and Team Outdoorsman Adventure member, Mike Slaba, and grandson Teddy, along with team members Larry Meyer and Marlon Weevilhouse from Weevilhouse Guide Service. We will be on the Missouri River north of St. Helena, Nebraska to take part in the 2014 Paddlefish Snagging Season. This is work. That's all there is to it. <laughs> But the rewards are worth it. Mika had her South Dakota permit while I had both South Dakota and Nebraska permit. Nebraska and South Dakota both have limited numbers of permits, and if you want one, you'll need to apply for one in July. Paddlefish are filter feeders, feeding on microscopic zooplankton and can only be caught by snagging. With the high water we had coming down the river, Marlin indicated the areas where the fish were located were limited. Marlin maneuvered the boat down the river to the first hole, one of the few in the area. It wasn't long before Mika connected with the first fish, a smaller one that was released. Okay, I'm clear. More like an hour or two. If he runs for the boat, just, you know. Faster. Just, yeah, I ain't really quite crazy. I think that's the paddle fish. His tail just came out. Oh, you're out of pie, huh? Just oh, keep yeah. cranking. Don't let go. I would just punch you right now, not kidding. <laughs> you want me to reel in for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I want 
teddy bear. Ted, you want to do this? I wouldn't. I'll have ice cream. Smart yeah. boy, good boy. This guy knows there you go. Knows stuff. That's right. Ooh, it's a nice one too. There it is. Oh no. Stop really? Oh my gosh, I caught him right at the. Oh, awesome. Start. You've been fishing and hunting for years. When you finally get that trophy of a lifetime, let Tennis Taxidermy, Watertown, South Dakota, create a lifelike mount that you'll be proud to display. With over 17 years experience, Sean Tennis has brought hunters and anglers trophies to life, giving them the opportunity to relive their trips of a lifetime for years to come. Sean Tennis, a full-time taxidermist, creating one lifelike trophy at a time. Every decoy to me looked alike. You know, you had football shaped decoys. So we went to an actual bird carver to have him carve birds rather than decoys. And then we made the molds off of the, the original carvings. Don't compromise realism for durability. Now you can have both. DakotaDecoy.com if you're looking for excellent fishing, hunting, boating, and vacation destinations, you'll want to come and experience South Dakota's Missouri River on Lakes Oahe, Sharp, Francis Case, and Lewis and Clark, where you'll find great fishing, hunting, boating, and vacation destinations. Check out South Dakota Missouri River Tourism at sdmissouririver.com. This portion of Outdoorsman Adventures is brought to you by Graham Tire, your tire store next door. A couple of passes later, she connected with another, which was below the time slot, a tag fish that would soon be wearing Mike's tag. Is that right? <laughs> Want me to take over? Get in the slot. Well, it's like, I'm not sure it's fun. Hey, you're keeping it if it's not over whatever. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. That is. Perfect size. Yes. You got a tag paddle fish. What does that mean? You're, you're pretty lucky they get a tag paddlefish. Not very many people get them. The game fish and parks tag them? Or? Yeah, well, let's get him in and we'll see we'll see if it's South Dakota or Nebraska. Okay? All right. Jeez. Ted, look at that. Okay, good job. Thanks. What do you think, That's pretty cool, I'll get a tag paddlefish. Will it be in the slot? It's the second one I've ever gotten. And what does that mean? There, you should have seen it. So it'll be Nebraska Game Fish and Parks. Okay, we caught one this year in said South Dakota. Okay. And you got a Nebraska one. What's your tag? You got South Dakota. Yep, my tag is South Dakota. Oh, well, then you can't keep him. Okay. I disagree. If this is Nebraska, <laughs> that's Nebraska's fish. Yeah, you can't use your South Dakota tag on this fish. I do have a Nebraska license. So it's a Nebraska fish. <laughs> Well, we gotta measure. This oh, looks like go. it could be kind of a medium flat. No, no, it's about a thirty. Three. About thirty. No, is it? Oh, yeah. Are perfect. you talking right here? Yep. Thirty and a half. Good deal. Yeah. I'm, keep it. I'm keeping it. All right. Yes. Nice. Nice. Done deal. Yeah. Thank you. It looked as if Marlin had it figured out. With my hopes high, I started snagging out of the back of the boat. 
After several passes, my hopes were beginning to fade and I was wondering if the fish hadn't been blown out of the hole. Yeah. On the fourth pass, I hooked into a decent fish, which I tagged using my South Dakota tag. Well, we saw those two roll, you know, that one came clear out of the water. Yes, I do. Definitely a keeper. He's so pretty good. Well, I got him last year, man. Nice. Look at those blades. Perfect size. Yeah. Perfect size. Yeah, that's, that's a, a great huh? one. The place, Lake Oahe, where Chuck Krause is the guide. He'll put you on fish no matter what species you're after. Chuck Krause Guide Service has provided professional fishing and hunting guide service since 1980. Located west of Gettysburg, South Dakota, on Lake Oahe. Fishing, hunting, and a whole lot more. With lots available at Whitlock Riverview Estates along Lake Oahe's Whitlock Bay. Chuck Grouse Guide Service and Whitlock Riverview Estates. Listen up! We've intercepted some new intelligence from Grossenberg Implement. Seems a great selection of John Deere 24 row CCS planters, Deer Bower planters, and all air seeders up to 60 foot are on sale at Grossenberg. And get this, only 1.9% for 48 months at all planters, air seeders, and box drills. The size, price, and interest rate on these units is really something. Visit the Grossenberg implement nearest you in South Dakota or Nebraska or at grossenberg.com. This portion of Outdoorsman Adventures is being brought to you by Lewis and Clark Recreation Area, Yankton, South Dakota. The region's largest and most popular campgrounds, resort, and marina on the shores of Lewis and Clark Lake. Hi, I'm Dr. Chris from Cedar County Veterinary Services and today my volunteer Patches and I will be showing you how you can do routine ear cleaning on your dog to hopefully prevent an ear infection and what we'll do if your dog does get an ear infection here at the vet clinic. To start out with, what we'll do is just start with a basic ear exam. It's important to remember that there's a couple of conditions that predispose dogs to getting an ear infection. One is certainly environment. Dogs like Labradors that tend to spend a lot of time in the water get moisture down in that ear canal, which is a perfect environment for yeast and bacteria to grow. The other thing is certainly conformation. Dogs like Spaniels, like Patches here, tend to have very big pendulous ears with a lot of hair in them. That also traps moisture down there, creates a warm, dark environment, which is perfect for pathogens to grow in. So when we start out looking at our ear exam, what we want to do is take a close look at the external part of the ear itself. Make sure we don't have any cuts, any scratches. Sometimes they're caused by a long day hunting. Sometimes they're actually caused by the dog itself. We know ear infections are quite itchy and a dog can actually create sores as they're scratching a sore ear. The next thing we'll do is look down in that ear canal, make sure we don't have any foreign bodies like grass ons, any sticks, or potentially a lot of hair like with a spaniel type breed. Here at the vet clinic we have a useful instrument called an otoscope that's important to look down and find the ear canal or the tympanic membrane on a dog. We know if we're going to treat with a topical medication that we put in the ear itself, if we have a tear in that ear canal, it can actually be toxic to the inner ear resulting in deafness. So always want to make sure we have intact membranes before we start treatment. So to do that, we'll take a quick look in here, pull the ear clear out so we can get down to the horizontal part and make sure that looks good. Great on that side. Switch around to the other. We know there's an eardrum on both sides. Look down in there and it looks good. Sometimes that's quite difficult to do if a dog does have a painful ear. If that's the case, we might have to treat with oral medication rather than systemic. Next, we'll show you how to do an ear cleaning which is a great thing you can do once a week, certainly after a long day hunting, or just for maintenance at home whenever you're sitting on the sofa looking for something quick to do. What we'll do is put some type of an ear cleaner deep down in that canal. Important to use something that's not abrasive and that's not going to irritate the ear canal, especially if there's a little infection going on. You can use a cotton ball in that ear to make sure we don't get the solution washed out before we want to. And then you wanna massage deep around the base of that cartilage that makes the base of the ear up. By massaging there for 30 to 60 seconds, we'll make sure we get that solution clear down into the horizontal part of that ear canal, where a lot of the infection tends to resolve. A little bit painful today. Then we can take that cotton ball, use it to wipe out any external debris, and let them shake their head, which they often do on cue. <laughs> 
We'll go over and do the other side. Same thing, we'll put a lot of solution down in that ear canal. Essentially, we want to fill it all the way up. Use a cotton ball to plug it, and then massage the cartilage on the base of the ear to work it clear down inside. Usually it's not painful, they tend to lean into it. If they do have an infection, you might get a little squeal because it is a little cold and irritating on a painful ear. Again, use that cotton ball to clean out the external part and see if she'll shake again. Not this time, all right. <laughs> oh, there it is, a little late. Alrighty, so again, just some good preventative care you can do at home. Certainly if you're noticing an ear looks really red, really irritated, if when you're manipulating those ears you get some cries from your dog, probably have an ear infection that would require some treatment that we can certainly provide you with here at Cedar County Vet. Top Gun Hunting Ranch for some of the finest in pheasant hunting. Lifelong memories are waiting to be made in the fields and wetlands of Top Gun Hunting Ranch. With excellent bird numbers, first class accommodations, seasoned guides, and championship quality dogs, the folks at Top Gun are focused on giving you a memorable quality South Dakota pheasant hunt. Top Gun Hunting Ranch, Howard, South Dakota. Graham Tire is my tire store next door. Why should you buy your next tires from Graham Tire? You always get the lowest price guarantee on all the quality brands they sell. Graham Tire guarantees its prompt, professional service and backs it with a nationwide warranty for service after the sale, no matter where you are. The next time you need tires, come to my tire store next door. Graham Tire. Quality products, professional people, legendary service. Graham Tire. Offshore planer boards move your baits off to the side and away from the boat, allowing you to quickly and easily spread your lines out. It will pull the flag down if you get a weed or a small fish or the big fish that you're targeting so that you'll know you have a bite. Offshore side planers are ideal for a walleye and most freshwater fish. Be prepared when you hit the water. Purchase your offshore tackle products at your local dealer or order online at www.offshoretackle.com. This portion of Outdoorsman Adventures is brought to you by Cowboy Country Store and Cowboy Bait and Ammo with seven locations. Cowboy Country Stores has everything the fisherman or hunter needs. You notice how I tied the knot around the tail? Yeah. <laughs> you weren't going to get away. Yeah, I was debating whether to even put a hook on there for you. <laughs> you know, lasso trick? Yeah, I know you're good. You're a good snagger. Yeah. Some song? All right. Okay. Oh. That's nice, Dad. Well, that's not like you. That's a dandy. Oh. What do you think? What do you think you made? 30? I think he's 31. 30. That's Maya. <laughs> I think he's 31. If he's 32 and a half inches. You better not be 35. <laughs> that's a big one. Better wear blonde, Mom. Don't try that. Yes. 32 and a half. half. You gotta be kidding me. You guessed it. I guessed it just right. Yeah, you did. She's a fatty. <laughs> well, I pulled you out of the boat. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sorry, I was trying to, I thought you were going to fall. That's why <laughs> I was trying to grab you. I was, and I was get, grabbing you. I was trying to get some <laughs> footing. It's a little slimy on the floor. Everybody was grabbing you. Yeah. <laughs> Hoping we don't all fall out. Yeah, and then we all fall out. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> no, his little sister would be the one to put. She's on swim team. She's seven. She's she's gonna be a competitive. There he is. He's up. He's up. He's up. He's up. He's up. Okay, I guess. Like pretty 
about, just about the right size. Yep, I think so. Last through this one too, didn't I? Yep, sure did. About a 30 inch or it'll work. Nice, Dad. It'll work. Nice. Alright. Untangle the hook. Or just un the sinker, unwrap the sinker. Another one bites the dust, boys. Well, Marlon, you did it again. Nice well, job, Marlon. You just happened to got on to him. Yeah, you, uh, well, you uh, spent enough time in the river, you better get on to him. Thank you, sir. Good job, Gary. Stay tuned. We'll be back with more of Outdoorsman Adventures after these words from our sponsor. Add something natural to your best friend's diet with Country Vet Naturals. You've told us you want a natural dog food that's made here in the United States. And we've come through with Country Vet Naturals in four formulas. There's Active Athlete, Healthy Diet, the Senior Formula, a formula for puppies, and there's our Quick Bite Cookies. Every bag loaded with natural goodness for the hunt or for the home. Find a dealer and learn more online at CountryVetNaturals.com. Country Vet, loved by pets, trusted by owners. Looking for a year-round vacation destination that has everything the hunter and fisherman have been looking for? Well, look no further. Zippo Bay on beautiful Lake the Woods has it all. Excellent accommodations featuring cabins, log homes, swimming pool, boat rental, and charter boat fishing. Lake of the Woods, a world-class fisheries, offer the best chance for trophy walleye and northern pike in the Midwest. In the winter, there's ice fishing in heated ice houses, dark houses, and tip-up houses with sleeper houses also available. Zippo Bay has everything the fisherman, hunter, and family vacationer is looking for. Since 1967, Christensen Well and Irrigation has been serving Nebraska and South Dakota. A family-owned and operated business that can take care of all your water needs. From start to finish, Christensen Well and Irrigation can do it all. At Christensen Well and Irrigation, we drill them all. House, commercial, irrigation, farm stock, and geothermal wells. For over 20 years, Christensen Well and Irrigation has been installing TNL center pivot irrigation systems. Proven technology that works. Christensen Well and Irrigation is your one-stop TNL system irrigation dealer, servicing all brands of pivots and pumps. For all your water needs, one call does it all. It's Christensen Well and Irrigation. This portion of Outdoorsman Adventures is brought to you by Sportsman's Cove, Webster, South Dakota. Why well, is Dad? It's pushing 30, 29, 30. 29. Well, hits under. Yeah, he's, he's 29. Fish number three, Marlon. Yeah, you guys did good. Three nice, three nice eating sized fish right there. South, two South Dakota tags and a Nebraska tag. Yeah, yeah we'll get some nice plays off these. We got from a 30 to a 30, well, 31 incher. And we got one, one tag, one tag fish. Okay, Marlon, uh, once we snagged the fish, got in the boat, uh, we've got these special tags. You have to make sure you put them in, uh, Nebraska, South Dakota tag, and uh, kind of explain to our viewers just what needs to be done to tag the fish. Well, first of all, you got to apply for a tag. It's, it's like a drawing, and usually about every about every other year you'll draw a tag. Yep, and, and you got to apply mid-summer. Yep, I think it's usually around July is when you, when you have to apply for them. And you can get a South Dakota tag or a Nebraska tag, you know, and and, and it, it, that'll just up your chances, you yep. know, if you draw. They have both resident and non-resident. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yep. And once you do tag them, uh, you get this tag, you put a little slot in the in the dorsal fin, slide it in, snap it, and uh, you're ready to go. As far as cleaning them, no bones in the whole fish pond. No, none. Just no. a cartilage from yep. the nose to the tail. Super white meat. Uh, some guy compared to halibut, uh, they call it poor man lobster. It's yeah. just, it, it's excellent eating. It, it is. It is very good. It, but there is a lot of uh, waste with the bill and with the tail, and of course there is a lateral line, the red yeah, meat. You got a lot you of red meat. You have to get yeah. that out of there, or yeah. it's uh, it's really bad. Yeah. And this one here's got a, actually has a tag in the lip. It's a tag paddlefish. Yep, uh, my daughter Miki hooked onto that, so that's kind of an extra prize. So I've never hooked one with that. Tag, you've got one, you said? One. 
Yeah. One in all these years that she's yeah. only been snagging about five years with a tiger. Yeah. Lucky, lucky. Yeah, lucky. she's pretty lucky. <laughs> so, now paddle fishing, folks, it's a great, great experience. It is some work, uh, but uh, uh, what, what you get out of it is it's well worth it. You told us earlier with the high water it might be tough, and it did take us about a half hour longer than they usually take this, which is. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to thank Mike, Teddy, Larry, and Marlin for joining me on the show. We'll see you next time when we bring you another Outdoorsman Adventure. Hey, if you're looking for a great guide for paddlefish snagging, archery paddlefish, boat fishing, archery turkey or deer, give Marlon a call at 402-357-2389 or look him up on the web at weevilhouseguiding.com. Looking for more outdoor information and videos? Check out our webpage, OutdoorsmanAdventure.com, and our Outdoorsman Adventure Facebook page. Let us not forget that freedom isn't free, and to take time to thank our veterans for all that they've done for us.